call the meeting to order. Can I have a roll call, please? Hard. <laughs> they made a mess yet. No worries. Okay, Brian Hearing, present. Mary Jean Krieger, present. Mitch Magnus, present. Johnny Savage, present. Brian Oswald, present. Bill Boswell, present. Joel Williams, present. Dina Taylor, present. Thank you. This time I would ask you to please stand as Mr. Brian Hearing will lead us in our prayer and remain standing for our pledge. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we are so honored to be a part of this great city and be able to be in the day and in and out businesses and the dealings with this great city. Lord, we pray that you guide our minds and our hearts as we do this business. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Those aren't the zip right? Uh, yes, yeah. they are. Uh, I'll Did it go down? Yeah, man. Are you all all right over there? Am I still on? Yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> okay, if y'all had a chance to look at your minutes, I'll entertain a motion for approval. I move that we accept the meeting minutes from the previous meeting. I'll second. I have a motion and a second to accept the minutes from the previous meeting. Any discussion? All those in favor, by aye. 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 All those opposed, same. Motion carried. Okay, if you'll notice on your agenda, we had we put a little item in there, but we'll have to wait for 3:30. I mean, excuse me, 6:30 uh, to go into recess, and we will not be able to do our ordinance until we have that meeting. So we might go through this meeting here and and have a long recess. I don't know, but anyway, let's get into department reports. Uh, I think we. Wade, you had something you wanted to bring up? Yeah, real brief. Just wanted to give you an update on fluoride. Uh, I think I visited with you about a month or two ago on it. Uh, they are, the equipment's pretty well installed at Carol Boone. They're testing it. And uh, they tell me probably within the next two to three weeks they will be fluoridating water. Um, I know there's a lot of concern from some people as far as the safety of that. They'll always get that concern. Uh, one thing that I want to point out, and I'm going to try and put a little bit of information out on the internet about, uh, my main concern would be the use of fluoridated water in baby formula. Uh, so I kind of wanted to pass this along to you guys in case anybody was talking to you. Uh, for infants one year and under, it's not a good idea to exclusively use fluoridated water to make uh, baby formula. Just for, it, it does increase the risk for dental fluorisis, I think is the pronunciation, uh, which is basically it's a cosmetic condition for teeth as they get older. Uh, it's just something that kids are at risk for if they get too much fluoride in them. And when you're talking about babies with such a small body weight, uh, the CDC does recommend that you don't exclusively use fluoridated water to, to make it to formula. Um, the only other item that I did want to pass along was our total cost so far for snow and ice removal, um, let's see, total material costs, which includes fuel, salt, gravel, uh, also includes our equipment repairs that we, we go through, was at just over $33,400. Um, the total labor involved is, that includes regular and overtime. We're sitting at just over $25,200, so that's a total of around $58,720 in cost for snow and ice removal so far this year. Just kind of want to give you an idea of, of the cost that we have to absorb as a city in order to get the, get the roads clear. How that compare with last year? Uh, we're under last year. I mean, we Last year we used a lot more salt and gravel. 
So, but you know, that's that's still quite a bit. Um, you know, really, we've had three events, but a couple of them had pretty good amount of ice. And the more ice we have, the more salt and gravel that we use. And the salt's really the the biggest expense from a material standpoint. We used uh, about twenty four thousand five hundred dollars worth of salt so far this year. Are we still able to do the floor to be Yes. Discussed? What, yeah, what we do, we, we, we do our contract back in the summer when we make our initial purchase, and that contract's good for a year. We have, we've done a couple reorders under that contract just to make sure we've got uh, enough on hand in case we get something really bad. And we are going to make sure that our bin is full. Uh, you know, once, we're pretty sure we're not going to get any more, but... At some point, we'll make sure it's full once we get get into spring. That way, because we do have a pretty good price this year for salt, and it could go up next year. So we're going to get it loaded up as much as we can right now and be ready for next year. Thank you. Thank you, Wade. Hey, uh, did anybody else in Department of Trucks have anything to say? Okay, we can get in your committee reports, community environment, no report. Wait a minute, Mary Jean. Yeah, we did have a meeting <coughs> for federal care, and we had four members present. One was absent, but we had uh, special guest was Mayor Cheryl and Ellen Rogers, is representative of the Wells Fargo advisor, Chris McNew, and there was approximately eight ladies from the 20th century. Club present. And it, it went fairly well for our first time. I looked good in the mayor's chair. <laughs> and Luke, I wonder if you've had any response from the Arkansas Cemetery Board. I just got one yesterday. Uh, we had to fill out a report, and they, there is a fee, or a, a annual report fee and another fee, filing fee that is required. Uh, however, we have asked that they waive that and they don't have an actual board meeting for the Arkansas Cemetery's board until next, it's going to be the 19th, they said. So uh, they were going to take it at that point in time to them. We are a one-in-a-kind type venture. Uh, in the instance, we're the only municipality owned cemetery fund uh, in Arkansas. And so they kind of take ours as a case-by-case -case basis. And we, when we requested that they remove any kind of fees, they said it's likely, but they didn't know for sure. Um, and we had to file an annual report with them as well. Again, nothing out of the ordinary. It's just our first time filing because we have never had to go through the Arkansas Cemetery Board until last year. I was just wondering if you've got any response. Okay, we'll go into finance. Okay, the only thing we have is water and sewer uh, fund audits, and I'll let Luke speak to that. I discussed it with him briefly. If any of you all had a chance to look over it, the primary thing is we've got a clean opinion. Uh, there were uh, some comments uh, about segregation of duties and some other things, and Luke's addressing those. And then the management comment letter is the next thing that you might want to take a look at. Okay, um, I'll just start by saying these financial statements look totally different from what you received from me. Um, we do ours, and it, the expenses are, are roughly the same. However, you'll notice that big depreciation expense line item, and you'll also notice that <coughs> the income we get from infrastructure is in there, but the expenses for infrastructure items are not. Um, all of those are capitalized and put in uh, as fixed assets in the audit, whereas you see them as expenses, uh, and you see more of a, a cash line on, or a cash basis uh, financial statement from myself. Um, I, I do that to kind of be consistent, uh, and also to show real expenses. Uh, I say real because depreciation is an expense uh, for tax purposes, but we don't necessarily get that tax benefit. So uh, I show that to you in a different different level and so that way you can see what we have in cash reserves. So that's the first thing and that's why you see the increase in uh, revenues over expenditures is two million dollars. 
Normally that doesn't happen. We didn't make $2 million last year. But uh, that's why you see that big number. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Like you had mentioned, we did have a few uh, segregated, segregation of duties issues. Uh, I talked to the mayor about potentially taking a portion of, of one of those uh, bank reconciliations on uh, just to kind of help me out and hopefully alleviate some of those issues. Uh, another one would be monthly reconciliation and closing procedures. Um, we have updated some of our procedures to uh, make sure those are happening and I'm signing off on them now. Um, they were happening, they just weren't being signed off on in, in the past, um, but we are signing off on journal entries now, uh, bank reconciliations, stuff like that. That was at the recommendation of the auditors. Um, even though I was looking them over, they just wanted to have that kind of stamp on there that shows uh, dates. Um, Another thing that we, we're going to start reconciling on a monthly basis is our inventory and our fuel. We had a system before uh, this past year that uh, we would get the tickets, but then we might be a month behind uh, whenever we got those tickets. But now it's automated. Um, we use a system called iWork with them. Is it iWork or iWorks? iWork. iWork. Um, but it's all automated now, um, and we get to print out. Um, nothing's changed. It, it monitors all the vehicles and everything else, I believe, on the fuel end of it. Um, if they do any repairs, they mark it to a vehicle number, so that is actually being sent to us monthly. So uh, that's helping alleviate that part of it. And the lovely segregation of duties is to information technology. That's another one that's <laughs> it's hard to get rid of. Um, and, until we just have a big ultimate plan of uh, one, what we're going to do if something ever crashes, which we have off-site backups, um, but also they almost are recommending an IT person on staff. And I don't know that that's necessary, but we have we have someone on call. Basically, they they do come. Sometimes it's on call later than they. And others, but that is the uh, that is in there. I did want you to be aware of that. Um, we also have a few uh, other management comments that I get internally. I guess you would say. I don't know that those are in your actual. They're on Google Docs. You're talking about where it talks about the cash bindings and the yes. like the outstanding yeah. totaling yeah. checks. We're, I wish I, if I'll just <coughs> proceed here a little bit. You know, every year we get these segregation of duties. Um, not only our outside audit on water and sewer, but also on the uh, legislative audit. We get almost the same things all the time. And we have for as far back as I can remember, which is not very far, but you know, 99 anyway. Uh, the main thing is is reckon, the reconciliation of our bank deposits. That's the main issue, and who can who can cover those? Well, it has to be an administrator. The administrator can only sign off on those records. And Luke, being an administrator, but he is also the director of the finances, and they think it needs to be somebody else, right? Yes. Basically, I have the ability to do yeah. whatever I want. Um, it, it's what it boils down to. I mean, and not saying that I am doing that, I would never do that. But um, that's why they put that in there. I, I can go back and update information. I can create information. Yes, we had two signatures um, on our checks, but as anybody knows, if, and the banks wouldn't want me saying this out loud, but it's if you write a $5 check and you sign a Mickey Mouse, they're usually not going to look at it. So it's, it's stuff like that that you just, that's what they're trying to make everybody aware of. But he's, he's in the process of checking with our auditors. If I can sign on it, it's, probably, it's never been done actually by maybe a mayor, but I am considered a mayor. <coughs> but will it take a lot of my time? Yeah, it probably will take a lot of time. 
I told him I would do it if it would it would help us, our city, help our auditing department and everything. But we don't even know that yet. So if it, if it doesn't help, I'm not going to do it. But if it does help, I will do it. What, what's the alternative? I mean, I understand. We'll just keep biting the bullet on this. We'll just keep biting it. Ultimately, you hire another person. To hire just another person. Right. I start to say it's an oversight issue because yeah. of staffing. You have a limited number of people on a position. But the school system has the same issues. Um, the county is going to have the same issues. Anytime you're talking about smaller organizations, you're going to have that issue. Yeah. But especially yeah. in the governmental. Cost. <coughs> cost back. Oh, I'm, I'm, I understand. I, mean, I, I totally so, understand it. I know what kind of headache it is. It's, <coughs> at the same time, it's not only Luke doing it, it also takes the pressure off Luke if something is wrong. Or something. It, it protects him as well because it justifies what he does. Well, review a simple um, check images or uh, reconciliation of the balance, you know, <coughs> actual oversight might not take the mayor as long. <coughs> I would be opposed to him doing that on a regular basis because then he's into the nuts and bolts every day. It doesn't mean. Yeah. 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 That's what I mean. I really don't want to do it. Yeah. Uh, and it, maybe it won't do anything anyway if I do do it. We yeah, we need that right. In house, in house though, is there a solution? No. The biggest key is it would be for him to actually be the one to open up the bank statements that come in, um, and believe it or not, people alter bank statements and just to create problems. Now, if you could, you could outsource the reconciliation process to. Uh, yeah. That should be a certified person. Right. Yeah. So we create another expense. We create another expense. And the mayor's been looking over all the checks that we send out to. So if he did cross, kind of keep that in the back of his mind when he's looking at check images, it would help to say, oh, I don't remember seeing this one. What's this about? That's really good. Again, every municipality, like I say, the school gets it every year, and I've talked with them about it. And theirs can be resolved by uh, two different staff members opening the mail. Unfortunately, we don't have that luxury here. You don't have enough individuals. Well, not in an administrative. In an administrative. Right. Position. That's the case. Yes, that's the key right there. Mitch, I have a question. Just because I've, I've looked over it and saw some things I'd like to ask questions about. Will this be brought up a committee just to kind of go over so we all have a basic understanding? We can. Over it? I think it would be just helpful because I don't yeah. think everybody's had a chance. I noticed it showed up today. And when well, I went and looked at everything. The, the problem is you can get into this and because it's an hour or two long discussion and I weed out some questions. Like I've got ten questions here. Yeah. I'm not gonna ask, you know, that many questions. Exactly. And, and for, for me, just getting in committee would just help us all have the same understanding with ever out there, you know, just there's just some stuff that stands off right off the page right. without a doubt. So I think that made way late. I think that would be more helpful. Okay, we'll if uh, somebody make a motion to table to committee. I'll make a motion. Uh, motion to the table to the committee. Uh, any further discussion? No discussion. Well, that's right. Excuse me. I'm glad you're here. All those, all those in the favor, bye. Aye. Aye. All those opposed, same. That's good. Man. That's good. Motion carried. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, internal affairs. Uh, Mr. Mayor, no report, however. Uh, kind of thinking out loud. The weather seems to be calming. Um, the barbecue is still on the table. Wade has already shot me numbers as far as how many we're going to feed. Uh, it looks like we've got 22. Is that right, Wade? Correct. Did you take? Did you put us down? No. What, is that 22? <laughs> no. <laughs> but we'll 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 figure between 30 and 35. Uh, I don't have a date yet. Uh, I need to kind of get away and see what works probably on a Friday. I'm thinking at the end of the week, and I know the guys work stagger shifts, depending on what time, or go to lunch at stagger times. So I'm thinking we set it up, we'll cook right over in the uh, shop area where they can, they don't have to come anywhere, we'll go to them. Uh, Van was kind enough, I think our best to provide the grill. Uh, he just takes care of the sodas. Do you have a date on that? No, I don't. I, and, you know, last time I mentioned it, the next thing we got was 
this six inch of the snuff, so I don't know if I want to mention too much or not. Be careful. Uh, Glaze, are you going to do it down at Puck Works? I think we'll do it, yeah, down at Puck Works. Excellent. Uh, Mitch and I have both heard the same thing, though, and again, the guys need, and gals need to hear this that best, best I've ever seen since I've lived in Harrison on Road Clean. Uh, I, know I saw them by my house around the clock 24 7. It's easy for people to cry and complain when a road crew doesn't go by their house. But when they're out there working around and you see them all day, all time days, not moving snow, uh, yeah, job well done in my book. You know, especially that second snow we got because it warmed up and the roads were down the pavement the next day. So and it wouldn't have been that way had they not been out there working it. So, anyway, that's that's kind of out of internal affairs, but. Okay. Talk to my, for talks to my internal stomach, and I know it will there too. So. <clears throat> okay. Is that all you have, Bill? That's all I have. Okay. Public safety. Paul's going to give us a report on um, our dog and our policeman. Oh, our dog. Okay. Uh, the officer leaves on the 23rd. Actually, he'll leave on the 22nd. But I'll drive about 14 hours to get to the facility. Uh, his vehicle is ready to go mechanically. It will go down Monday to get a transport unit put in for the dog safety and some electronics to keep the dog safe. One is we'll have a monitor if it gets too hot in the back. It will automatically roll down the windows. So for the little bit of money we must spend, it's going to be well worth it for that. So we're, we'll be ready to go for the dog as far as what it goes. I have a question. Uh, yes, sir. I've had about well over 15 calls in the last two months on the funeral services. Are you going to get back to me? We are, we are doing them. It's just right now I have 10 officers under a year of employment. I have five in field training right now. So um, it's just a matter of manpower. But we, we still do the funeral exports. Just if we have a call that comes up, we have to handle the call first. Not but yes, we are still doing them. We have not stopped. Pretty big ones, and there was nobody there. Yes, it's just a, it's a manpower thing. <coughs> if we are available, we will do them. Okay. Thank you. Do you have anything you want to enlighten us with? Uh, next? On, the, on the truck? Yes. Uh, the contract, we've got the contract back from the region. And uh, I believe it's in the attorney's hand. We can look over. Uh, Van and I discussed, and uh, they did shoot me back with one other uh, update. They updated the, the closing costs. They didn't have that right at first. It was 500, but we kind of changed it to 325. That was in their contract. Um, and other than that, uh, it's just I'm going to go sign it tomorrow. So. All right. That's where we're at right with that. Projected delivery. They're, they were saying 10 to 11 months after they start building it. So they haven't started it yet. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking right in February. Yeah. January, February before we get started. <coughs> Anything else? That it? Thank you. We're going to get into public works and transportation. Yeah, we have an item on that. Do you go ahead and talk about that? Uh, at our last committee meeting, we presented the bids for <coughs> 2015 uh, comprehensive league survey. Uh, the recommendation was to award the contract to Utility Services Associates uh, in the amount bid of $27,637.50. Uh, that equates to $184.25 per mile of pipe survey. Uh, we uh, handed out the, uh, some information with that. Just, if you might have any questions, if you want to answer those regarding the, the RFP that was put out or the proposal that was received. <coughs> well, uh, that being said, uh, we all talked about that in life. Last meeting, and uh, I'll entertain a motion to set that bid. Second. 
for a motion to second. Any further discussion on the issue? That being said, all of the favor. I, I figure it would probably be <coughs> late spring, early summer. <coughs> I've talked to him a little bit as far as what we might do schedule wise, assuming that it was approved. I'll get on the phone with him again tomorrow. It'll just it'll depend on they've got a crew working in Russellville right now. If we, if we can time it out to where they can move them up here, that will be good. That might get us going early spring. Um, but I, I would expect somewhere in May and June. Just they don't foresee any interruption in any services while we're doing the survey, is it? No. Okay. That's all. Any further discussion? All those in favor, bye. Aye. 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 All those opposed, same. <coughs> Here. Anything else in public works? <laughs> okay. Resources and policy. I believe mine is for the public Okay. Okay, we're going into ordinance and at this time we'll we will have to we'll have to recess and go into a public hearing. And that being said, we have about four minutes. Brian, I probably will waylay you till after we have our public hearing. And uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I want you to have plenty of time. I don't want to interrupt you right in the middle. When's the last time you've been waylaid? Uh, I know, but. Uh, <laughs> well, I just came on the table today, so it's been Monday. Okay. But I'll entertain a motion for uh, recess at this time. So, I have a motion and I have a second. All those in favor of going into recess, by aye. 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 All those opposed, say. We're going to recess in the hearing. Two minutes or three minutes, we will have a public hearing. I will call the council back to order then. Okay, we will now go into the ordinance and resolution part. This ordinance will only require uh, one reading, one vote, and then we'll need to adopt the ordinance and adopt the emergency clause, which can be done in either one vote or two votes at that time. So a motion to put it on this reading. I move that we put this ordinance on this uh, first reading by title owners. I second that. Okay, I have a motion to put ordinance on this. First and only reading by title only. And have a second. We will go into discussion. There being no discussion, I will call roll, please. Bill Boswell. Yes. Joe Williams. Yes. Dina Taylor. Yes. Brian Herring. Yes. Mary Jean Krieger. Yes. Mitch Magnus. Yes. Johnny Oswald. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> reading, uh, reading too fast there. Uh, Johnny Savage. Uh, yes. Ryan Oswald. Yes. Eight to nothing. Mm -hmm. Motion passes. Motion passes. An ordinance vacating a portion of Wolf Street between Main Street and Willow Streets. I make a motion that we enact the emergency call. Uh, we need to, we need to adopt. Oh, adopt. adopt. Okay. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Sorry. Okay. I have a motion to adopt and a second. Any discussion? No. Yeah, I do have one question that was proposed to me. What happens with the actual physical property that was the street? It splits, uh, by code, it splits 50 50 to the budding owners. That's what I assumed. Well, Down the middle. Okay. Any other discussion? Clerk will call a roll again, please. Okay. Uh, Joe Williams? Yes. Dean and Taylor? Yes. Brian Herring? Yes. Mary Jean Krieger? Yes. Mitch Magnus? Yes. Johnny Savage? Yes. Brian Oswald? Yes. Bill Boswell? Yes. Motion carries. Motion to adopt the emergency funds. Some move. <laughs> yeah. now, for those of you that are here, this motion to adopt the emergency clause is necessary to give this immediate effect. And I know that Kim is here from the hospital, uh, so we do need to 
do the emergency clause to open the door for them to go forward with their acquisition of this property. Otherwise, it would have a delay of 30 days. Who we'll seconded it? Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, you get ready to go. Okay, we have a motion to adopt the emergency clause and a second. <coughs> any, any discussion on this? Voice is all right on this one? Okay, all those in favor by aye. 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 All those opposed, same. <laughs> Motion. What's our time frame now to get the... <laughs> 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 I'll return to Dan. Dan. <laughs> well, I hopefully this was uh, the last hurdle and we're on the straight stretch. I hope. Uh, and I, you know, I've made, a, I've made some statements that in the past that I put dates on. Hmm, I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think I think we're on the up and up now, I hope. And I won't put a date on it, so but hopefully I'll know. Thank you very much. Thank you for doing this. If, if there's any way to communicate in the future when we get some idea of the time frame that we're looking at, it would sure help to make some sort of notice to the public. Well, I think we will let probably the hospital do that since they are doing it anyway. I think it'd be. But I mean, if someone you know has a time frame, hey, we're going to start on this day. You know, we expect to take however many days. Can you guarantee that? The best thing that would happen is is a front page picture of Legal dump trucks and loaders and that stuff going away. Yeah. yeah. Already got it planned. <laughs> 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 Already planned. <laughs> It, it may be I knew where that was that. going to, but I'm yeah. making sure you understood that that is the best thing that could happen. Well, I, I usually don't speak up, Boss, but it will be better than that. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's great. Can you be I have no idea of that. But you can pass on to Vince and we appreciate him. Thank you. Yeah, anyway, I know we, you know, we talk every day, don't we? Yes. I don't know. My wife's looking at my phone. Very we better good. not be talking to <laughs> anyway, anyway, I appreciate y'all, and thank you, Council, for at least getting that last hurdle over with. Okay, let's move forward. We have with us here Mr. Brian Dole tonight. He's an importer support for Garden Reserve, and he has a little presentation he'd like to give us. Good afternoon. I'm Brian Dole. I'm with the Importer Support Garden Reserve. Uh, we are a DOD organization that helps uh, with the facilitate and promote a cooperative culture of employer support for National Garden Reservists in the community. Uh, I was here last October and asked all the council members in Alderman to sign a what they call a statement of support. What this is, is it, it doesn't obligate you to do anything other than what you're already doing, supporting the Garden Reserve. I am an employer coordinator, outreach coordinator, sorry, and I help to convey what they call the USERA laws, USERA laws. And USERA is the Uniform Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act that was uh, established in 1972 by President's World Proclamation. What that does is it protects the soldiers and the employers as well. Um, so if there's a deployment that comes up, guys come home, they need help getting re-employed and go back to employers, I'm there to help them. But I'm also there to help the employer themselves when a soldier comes back and does not want to go back to work or finds reasons not to go back, I'm there to help step in and pave the way for a smooth transition. And what I like to do is, obviously, like I said, I'm here in October and asked uh, a lot of you guys have already signed statements of support uh, for the Guard Reserve. And I would like to ask that next uh, council meeting, I come back and uh, we do the same thing again. I'm all for everything you guys do. Thank you, Slater. We did this the last council, and uh -huh. actually, Brian, he, I speak to Brian once in a while, and uh, he's doing a great job. And I think our city, <coughs> who's not behind the military? Exactly. So, uh, I think. It, I would be more than welcome to have you come back with those documents uh, to be up to y'all though. Is there any motion we just need to be in agreement? Yes, just in agreement. We're all in agreement. Just, just show us. Yeah, show us. Be here, don't be late. Ah, uh, <laughs> sure. You got it, boss. 
Do you want to do that at committee, Brian, or do you want to do it at a regular council meeting? That is great. Regular council meeting is fine. Okay, so it'll be one fine. month from now. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. I did skip old business. Has anybody, anybody got any old business in the I do want to ask a question on the floor. I, how, do we, how are we going to communicate that to the general public as far as the for babies? Um, I said that in Mr. White's presence so that he and I can talk about the possible newspaper articles. <laughs> <laughs> can it be uh, somehow printed on the water bill? We'll, we'll probably put that on next month's water bill. I'm also going to ask Christine to put it out on the website, the website as well as Facebook. Any kind of signage at stores and Walmarts, you know, around the corner of Ohio? Do you all want a copy of that? Now, I've got a copy of what the CDC, what, that you sent that out, right? Yes, I, I can so email that out tomorrow. you all want a copy of it? Yeah. It's more of a precaution, but you are know, talking about maybe something. That's a good thing to have. It, that kind of stuff in question, too, needs to be in the hands of the GYN doctors. Absolutely. Here in town. Health department. Health department. And health department is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play devil's advocate again. Good friends of your Springs because and know how the people think. Uh, is there a lawsuit? Is there a threat to the lawsuit to stop it? I've not heard it. I mean, I would not be surprised. They are attempting legislative action to stop it. Most of you probably saw the newspaper article probably this week. <laughs> Uh, and I don't, I don't expect, you know, it, it, it died in committee, uh, but I don't expect the efforts to stop. Um, one thing that we'll need to keep in mind is that even if the, the act is repealed requiring us to do it, Carol Boone has signed a contract uh, for this grant money that requires them to forward that for a minimum of 10 years. Otherwise, they have to pay back. Maybe half dollars. I read that part, so I didn't get to where that charge was coming from. Yeah, that, that's where you think I go back to. I'm not against the fluoridation. It's the rest of it that we could easily get caught in the crosshairs and have well, to do Well, I think it probably is going to go down to legislative some action, whether it be no action or action. But right now, it's all fight on the Western Front, as you might say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and that's not a bad thing. Wade says, you know, they're trying to do through legislative action. Inevitably, what happens is, is they don't get what they want. So they'll turn around and do whatever they have to do to stop it. Uh, there's nothing we can do. I mean, we're, just, we're at the end of the, we're literally at the end of the road. Okay, anybody else? Uh, before I get into my state of the city address. Do you all need to take a break or anything or cup of coffee or anything like that? Okay. <laughs> okay, I will start my state of the city address. Fellow citizens, neighbors, and friends, our city is just that, our city. I'm humbly grateful for my election as mayor of Harrison, Arkansas. It is with great pleasure that I may be given the opportunity to serve our community. We have many issues. And although I will only address a few today, I want to assure you that we are working towards a common goal, making Harrison, Arkansas a wonderful place to live. As citizens of this community, we are entitled to certain privileges. One of the most important privileges we enjoy would be that of protection. Protection comes in two forms, fire and police. The police department is integral in our community and is shown as being our largest general fund expenditure. We have hired five new police officers, three of which have been enabled by the recent tax increase. We have taken pride in our police force. For the first time in Harrison's history, we will be providing uniforms for all dispatchers 
and all officers. They will be uniform in uniform, as you might say. Other improvements include 10 video cameras and body cameras, six being paid for by state grant, total cost $8,000. As you know, we will add the canine officer to protect and aid our war against drugs, also provided by the new tax, as well as a six-week handler course, total cost of this $13,750. And finally, we will further equip our and revamp department with six police, new police vehicles, total cost of those $225,000. This also provided by the tax. As we continue to work towards the best future for our citizens with long-range plans in the police department, we also are working on plans for the fire department. Our fire department is the second largest general fund expenditure. While looking into and working with our new fire chief, we have found the City Council has approved $840,000 to be borrowed for the purchase of two new trucks. But there are still needs. The department's radio system is fairly outdated and there is need to update from an analog system to a digital system. The improvement will clarify class and increase range for better communication. The estimated cost would be $50,000. <coughs> As you all know, fire, fire station number one is suffering from significant structural damage. We will address this issue, this issue in the budget as quoted as station one remodel for $12,000. Fire Chief Marvin Holt, we are proud to have you on board as we continue to train our firefighters with standards met by Little Rock, Chicago, and Fire and Rescues, whip water, repelling, auto extractions, and hospital calls. As neighbors, we share a common activity such as public works. Public works is under the direction of Wade Phillips. Water and sewer is working to address the problem of losing water. The survey conducted in late 2013 found an estimated 100 million gallons of water of water leakage within the system. This issue has been researched by an overhaul to the water sewer meter, meter reading, planned water line replacement and corrosion reduction. We will also be looking into hiring a leak specialist, as you know, for our city survey. The primary focus for wastewater treatment in 2015 will be regulatory issues regarding mineral and nutrient limit regulations in Crooked Creek. Streets and drainage has planned projects to improve drainage in various areas of our city, improve our sidewalks, improve traffic signals on the south side of town, as well as complete our Dry Jordan Trail project. Public Works has accomplishments such as meeting current water and sewer construction standards, Lake Harrison water line replacement, saving 48 to 84 million of leakage per year. A concern has been brought to my attention would be the raising of water rates. I want to ensure the people that this raise in rate is necessary to continue in our improvement for serving quality water to our community. We have replaced 2,200 meters, replaced the flush truck, Replaced 100 horsepower aerator drives with variable speed drives. Did I lose anybody on that one? <laughs> Improved training and certification for personnel. Road widening of industrial park. Public Works is working to obtain a new billing system with a new meter project that will allow them to determine potential sources for non-billable water. Finally, because the Public Works Department is our neighbor, the Finance Department is working hard to be on top of our finances. Luke Fiker is our finance director. He oversees $14 million in expenses and revenue for our great town. We need to look into investing some of these dollars for an upgrade in our technology in this department. We will look into new computers this year and next year to get where we need to be. 
As friends, we, we give each other assistance, support, and personal regard. We do this by networking with industries for jobs through multiple entities. We will be looking into our current workforce and will, with our citizens and youth, and train and increase more technical jobs, increasing pay for those who are qualified. This will raise morale and education in our city. I hope to encourage and set examples for our youth, encouraging further education and positive lifestyles. I will work on building relationships with our state agencies and representatives for a future growth of Harrison. And lastly, we take pride together by improving the city through a beautification project. Finally, as your new mayor, I will work hard to show that we are a responsible group of leaders that strive to be fair and transparent. We work for each other, with each other, and there must be a certain respect and trust there. The money that is given by the good people of this town must be put to appropriate cost. Rest assured, your city finances are in good shape as we move forward. And I thank you very much. I have some other thank yous that I put on there tonight. Uh, Every, won't you stand up, young lady? <laughs> this is Mrs. Hillary Cleaver. And actually, I gave her the data for this uh, presentation, and this young lady here scripted it. Okay, also, Bill touched on it earlier, and I've had several calls, and I don't know if you've had calls too, also in, into the city concerning our street park. I gave my big thumbs up. Absolutely. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. And the old fashioned department was where they the hell we got. Yep. Okay. See these two new flags? Compliments of Bear Bank. And uh, Bear States. Bear States. But, yeah. And I appreciate them too, also. Okay. We're down to. Citizens, or oh, excuse me, I'll, I'll ask council if they got anything they would like to bring in or say to the public. Okay, I'll open it up. Does anybody in the audience would uh, like to say anything? I'm quick. I make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, you're you're right. Now John's filling in the Okay, you're, you're right. Now, uh, John Phillips Day is uh, Monday, March 16th, and they're having that at the Grand Center at 5.30. And tickets are $10, and believe you me, that goes to a good scholarship cause for all the underprivileged people that want to participate. Uh, show up. Hey, up, show up. Okay, I have a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor, aye. Thank you.